Hey, and welcome to a new show on Between Us Girls. This is Dream Chasers, where I visit with an entrepreneur or business owner uh, here in Houston, and I just kind of get their story and we talk about their growth, how they became the person that they are, just like course correction, but more in depth, more personal, more local. Um, So yeah, this is the beginning. I have my first guest, um, Erica, the creator of Fro Fruit, and we're just going to go through her journey and kind of find out how she became Fro Fruit Erica. All right. So I hope you guys like it. And this show is going to be cut into segments. So you'll hear the whole story over the course of the month. And you will also be able to see on YouTube the story. Okay. Hope you like it. Fro Fruit started in the summer of 2018 in a hotel room. Wow. Okay. Uh, my daughter and I. Um, and I can tell more of that story too, but we're in a situation where we just had to live in a hotel room. Mm-hmm. Here she goes. And <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. My daughter thinks she's the cameraman. And she's in all of my videos. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, yes, we're attached to it. So, mm-hmm. um, so we were in that situation and I feel like I, that was the desperation I needed. Cause I tell people all the time. You pretty much need three things to make it work. Okay. Enough desperation mm. or motivation, the right product or the right idea, okay. and then the knowledge or the mentorship or the yeah. success team. So that was the desperation I needed. I needed to make it work. Mm. And um, as all of that was going on, I was working part-time at my church, and one of my colleagues introduced me to essential oils okay and um she i i I bought the essential oils to support her Mm. basically and was in my in the bathroom one day trying to do my hair had run out of hair products and looked over to the side and the oil that she had that i had bought from her little bitty tiny bottle was the only thing i had in the in the room to do my hair and so i put it was orange actually and i put it on my hair and it detangled like never before wow okay and so i said okay i knew this was good and i was wanting to support her but i didn't know it was this good so as i started researching more on essential oils i figured out okay direct it's so potent that using it directly like that is not a good thing for a long period yeah, you of have time to, you, have you have to, to dilute use a it oil or something there you go so I said, okay, I had always been wanting to do something in beauty. This was this time in my life for this particular idea or product. And I just started mixing stuff together, Michelle, to try to make it work. Mm-hmm. And first giving it out. And it just kind of went from there. Yeah. Before I started selling it, I started just kind of giving it out. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I think that's really important that you said that because a lot of people, business owners, um, don't want to do free stuff. Mm-hmm. And I hear all the time, is I can't do anything for free. But I'm like, I give a lot away for free. Yes. I will have people come to me. I give them advice. I give them guidance. I tell them what they need to do. I give them tips. That stuff is what people pay for. But I'm it- giving it to you because I know if I give it to you, you don't remember that. And I think that's how the world works. Mm-hmm. I, I I know we're in this age of um, where spirituality is a little yeah. touchy, but I believe in God and I mm-hmm. believe that God has it set up to where you got to give to get. The, you service. don't do it for that reason, but that's the only way it's going to work. Absolutely. Because that's how it's set up. Yeah. You know, we we all got to help each other out to try to get where we're going. I definitely agree with that. And I think, especially in spirituality, when it comes to being of service. That's that's the word. That's the essence of being in spirituality is what can I do to serve another person? And a lot of people miss the fact that even if your business is one of, you know, of course you want to make money. But your your rewards are a direct result Mm -hmm. of the service that you provide. Mm -hmm. So if I'm giving, 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 it's got to come back to me. Oh, it's got to. It is universal law. It is going to come back to you. It is. And if I could, if I could tell you kind of the full story, um, I think it's always. I always tell entrepreneurs or people who want to start businesses that one step informs the next one. Mm So I've been on this journey with Fro Fruit only for a year and a half. Mm-hmm. But my entree into business started in 
2014. So I had my first kind of like blog. Yeah. It was called Juggle Bugs and oh. it was about working moms. Okay. So I had that um and it was really successful. This was in the days where Facebook pages were free. Mm -hmm. You could build a whole business on a free Facebook page. Right. And that, of course, is different now. Yeah. Um, but I had a Facebook page. All these working moms from all around the world would chime in. Um, me and my now ex-husband, we were on Fox. We were on TV. We were wow, on this. Okay. We were on that. And we were talking about working motherhood yeah. and the life. Yeah. So I did that for probably a year. Juggle Bugs, I ended up stopping it because it was so much, even though every business is built on like a pain point, it was it was too much of a passion project. Like I was a new mom and those new mom struggles, I mean, once she was a year and a half, I mean, those new mom anymore. struggles aren't the same. So my passion for it wasn't the same. And I felt bad at the time. Oh, that didn't work. That didn't turn out to be what it wanted to be, what mm -hmm. I wanted it to be. But Michelle, what I learned was, okay, Juggle Bugs was when I learned about building an audience. Yeah. It's when I learned about building a website, mm -hmm. Shopify, and yeah. all these other things. Things so, you need to know now. Things that I use now every day in my current business. So then after Juggle Bugs stopped, I went through this season of my life, went through a divorce, mm -hmm. and really needed to make money. I had I had went through a career shift. I had went through a divorce, just a whole life change. And I have a journalism degree. I've written oh, all wow. my life. And I said, okay, God, I need some money in this house. How am I going to make this work? Well, I started another business, my first real business. It was mm -hmm. a service-based business called Resume Gypsy. Okay. And Resume Gypsy, um, I... You just work magic on resume. I and it was called <laughs> it was called resumegypsy.com when your resume needs a magic wand. Mm -hmm. That was kind of the tagline. Yeah. And it was great. I I it was such a hustle. Yeah. Um, you know, wrote tons of resumes, ended up having contract writers. I mean, it, it really did grow. But it was it once again a learning experience because I realized, you know what? I don't want to be in a service-based business. Yeah. For several reasons. And I don't want to people manage like that. Because as I grew, I had all these contract writers. Then that's a management thing. Mm -hmm. And I realized, okay, I love this business. It's creating great value. But I don't, this is not really what I want to do. It's right. a service-based business. But with Resume Gypsy, I learned how to sell. Mm -hmm. I learned about um, advertising and marketing. Yeah, I'm sure some cold calling I, to it now. Oh, my goodness. The hustle like yeah. never before because I would literally sell resumes to try to feed me and my daughter. Mm -hmm. So when you have to do something, you learn how to do it. Um, and so anyway, I kind of transitioned that because after I ran Resume Gypsy totally on my own for about a year, mm -hmm. I decided, okay, I need more steady income yeah i had transitioned i was through the divorce all of that stuff and i started teaching mm -hmm. and kind of was able to um kind of transition that into a, a program where i taught uh, my kids entrepreneurship basically yeah. so okay. i taught english and i taught other things but once a week my principal would let me teach entrepreneurship oh, which was wow. great okay it was fabulous um so anyway, so that was kind of the resume gypsy piece. So when this opportunity came to me, Fro Fruit, um, I had once again taken another leap. And yeah. this is how I always think of it in my mind. I knew I didn't want to teach anymore. Now, all along this road, some people listen to the stories like this and think, oh, she doesn't know what she wants to do. Right. She's going from X to Y to Z. Yeah, you're right. But guess what? All along the way, you're learning I'm learning. I'm figuring it out. Process of elimination because I'm the person who I graduated from high school at 16. I graduated mm. from college at 20. And I did what I was supposed to do yeah. for 10 years. Never that chance to like travel the world mm -hmm. and try this and try that. All the stuff you're supposed to do in your 20s. Right. You didn't do it. I didn't do it. So you hit 30, you hit motherhood, you hit all these things, and you realize, okay, let me try to figure out what it is I want who to do. Who am I? And who I am. Because if I know who I am, that it will make it easier for my daughter to know who she is. Yeah. Right? you be teaching that real, true, 
self-understanding, self-awareness, you'll be giving it to your baby just automatically. Uh, it'll come with it. So it was the end of my second year, Michelle, as a teacher. And I said, you know what? This has been a great opportunity. I've learned a lot. I know I don't want to teach. Right. Not a teacher. Even though I'm a daughter of educators, this is not what I want. Mm. And um, But I had always taught my kids in school to follow your dreams, yeah. do what you want to do. And I'd always wanted to kind of do something in beauty. So anyway, I took a leap. I, I did not renew my contract to go teach for the next year. And I had kind of counted up how much money I had saved up at a part-time job at my church. Mm. I figured I could make that leap. It's like you're looking at a cliff. Right. And you're like, okay, I'm over here. The promised land's over there. I can make it. Yes. <laughs> if I just jump. I, if, if I just jump, I can make it. Well, I didn't make it, which is how I ended up in the hotel. Yeah. So it was a miscalculation. Yeah. Right? It was a miscalculation. And I'm like, okay, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? And um, I had had a drinks or dinner or something with some of my teacher friends. They were getting ready to go back to school for the next semester. This was in the summer of 2018. They were getting ready to go back to school. And I'm driving down 288 thinking, okay, God, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? And having taught my high school kids about mentorship mm -hmm. and success teams and following your dreams and all that, I'm like, Okay, I need to I need to know I need to find somebody who knows what he or she is talking about. Right. Like I need a mentor. I need that success team. And I love telling I, I like telling people this part of the story because I hope it will encourage yeah. other people to do the same. But um cold call. I, I'm I'm big on cold calling people. Mm -hmm. And I looked up, I had known of um, a local entrepreneur, his name is Michael Moore. He owns Stuff Baked Potato Factory. Yeah, I don't okay. know if you ever heard mm -hmm. of it before. And he used to own Beltway 8 Records. Oh, okay. Um, back in the day, th their heyday was during my college years. Yeah. So I knew of his name. I knew who he was. And I just looked him up on Facebook, sent him a message. Hey, this is who I am. This is what I'm trying to do. I didn't know this man from anybody. Yeah. This is who I am. This is who I'm trying to do. Will you give me 30 minutes of your time? I have a couple questions. I'm trying to make this work. And I told myself, Michelle, the worst that could happen is, is, he he no. is he says no or there's no response. I can risk that. I had already risked so much. Yeah. I'm like, I can risk a no. Sure enough, he texts back and says, hey, call me after 9 o'clock, da, 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 da. Now, thankfully, and I really think this was all God aligning. Of course. This is just his personality, like a give back all that kind of stuff. But you went to the right person because cause spirit knows yes. who because you need to reach out to. No. <laughs> I thank you for saying that. I believe that. Yeah. So that day, um, later on that evening, he calls me. We end up talking for a couple hours. He tells me his whole story of entrepreneurship, entrepreneurship, how he had to pivot from music to mm -hmm. restaurant. Um, just the books to read, all the encouragement, everything that I needed. Now, at the time, I was still trying to, I thought I was going to reincarnate my resume business. Yeah. That's what I thought. Okay. Once I ended up talking to Michael, I said, mm -mm, I'm already out here in these deep waters. I'm going to do what I really want to do. really want to do. I'm not going to tiptoe anymore. Yes. I always said I wanted to do something in beauty. I said I wanted to do something with self-love. I've discovered my own hair, all this kind of stuff. I'm going to come up with this product. So the stars were definitely aligning because I decided to do that based on a conversation with him. My church member had given me these oils. I had enough motivation and desperation mm -hmm. to do. So it was all happening yeah. all at the same time. Right, right, right. Um, Your synchronicity was just... <laughs> just everywhere and I'm a big believer in I think we're about the same age probably your audience we're all in this kind of yeah. age range of like trying to figure it out mm -hmm. there are days we probably feel like it's too late and we're so old we're yeah. not we're not we're not you know that is the whole basis of my consulting business which I started on I don't know which direction I guess they just told me to do it you know, mm, yes. So I started and I was like, well, I, I talk to people every day. I, I guess I can be a consultant. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. I started, of course, it's evolved so much. And it's only been like 10, 12 months. Oh, and, but it was a spiritual move because it was only that yes. 
internal go, go, go that told me go. you can do this mm -hmm. because I have a bigger purpose. Mm -hmm. It's not just consulting. Mm -hmm. My purpose is to help raise the consciousness of our community. Yeah. Even if it's not just black people, people, period, the because people we need to you. get on the we need to get here because we're living here. We we are. Right. And it's time out for that. Right. It's time out for that. It's time because, I mean, we're coming into a time right now where, and I'm about to start channeling. I feel like I can, I'm starting to vibrate. <laughs> but we're coming into a time where we got to be who we are. You have, have to be. To. So if you are Fro Fruit Erica, right. you must be that. I must be. You There's must no other be way to There's live. There's no other way for you to live. Mm -mm. You know, and I have to be who I am. Mm -hmm. And that means that I have to change my podcast. And so... Everything that happened on the way to changing the podcast happened for a reason. It wasn't yep. to devastate me, to, nope. to cripple me. It was mm -hmm. so that I could get in the right space, so that I could attract the people who need me, like yes. you. You yes. know what I mean? Yes, yes. And if you are obedient to that voice, mm -hmm. you will be rewarded Absolutely. for it. Greatly. Because I always think to myself, I'm 38 years old, mm -hmm. and I, I always think to myself, Man, I see people all the time that wake up at 50, wake up at 60 and say, woulda, shoulda, coulda. Yeah. Why didn't I do this? I was living for this person. I was living for that person. Mm -mm. That is not going to be my story. You must live for this person inside You must of be. And, and I say all the time, there's a lot of things you can say about me, Michelle. A lot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I got two exes that they'll okay, tell hey. a whole bunch of... <laughs> stuff Let them tell which it. half of it might be true okay. okay but one thing you can't say is i i do not give up okay and i try and i chase my dreams and i'm hopeful and i'm optimistic and i'm living a life mm. that is not only beneficial to me but beneficial for my daughter right. and beneficial for everybody around me mm -hmm. That is who I need to be. Right. Because guess what? I spent the majority of my childhood in my 20s being something completely different. Being who, was, who you thought you needed to be to fit into the box. That does not work. It doesn't work. And I can't even tell you how good I feel being able to be myself. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. there's nothing wrong with me. Mm -hmm. I might be a little bit weird or a little bit different. Sure. I mean, we all are. But there's nothing wrong with me. <laughs> and what right. gifts I have, what gifts that were given to me. I must share them with everyone else. And that means I had to be the weirdest person that I possibly can be to yes. give my gifts to others. Yes. Like yesterday, somebody came to me, asked me for advice about something. And I said, well, this is a good time for me to pull out my cards. Because I've been practicing reading uh, sure. playing cards. Oh. So, you know, like I know everybody reads traditional tarot, oracle cards, but I wanted to try something different because of me. So I was like, let me see yes. if I can go the next level yes and i was able to read her situation and really give her a good reading and, awesome and honestly like this is the first time i've ever talked about that being able to do that mm. so i mean it's just time for us to be ourselves and i really appreciate you respecting that yes. message that you got mm -hmm. to move mm -hmm. because i can't mm -hmm. wait to try the product mm -hmm. oh yes, you know what yes, i mean yes. so like tell me a little bit about how you came up with the formula let me get it. So basically trial and error. Okay. So this is the probably third iteration. Okay. All right. So that was it for this week. Come back next week so you can hear about the formula and how many times she has tried to make this product. All right. I hope you guys like this and keep coming back.